This is a video on how to calculate the perpendicular clockwise and perpendicular counterclockwise vectors to a given vector in 2D. So here's a vector. Use this for our origin here. This will be 5 comma 0. This little thinner. And here's a vector that's perpendicular to it, 0, 5. And here's the other perpendicular vector, 0, negative 5. So what we want to do is figure out how to tr transform this vector, do something to this x and y to make it into that. And it's clear that if we swap x and y, we'll get the other vector. So one thing we can do is swap so that we say our new x, x1, equals our old y, and our new y, y1, equals our old x. So let's try that with another vector. Let's get another color here. Let's pick uh, the vector 5, comma 3. So we have a new origin over here. Vector 5, comma 3. And we're going to swap the coordinates so we get 3, 5. And you can see that's clearly not perpendicular. It needs to be 90 degrees. So, something else we need to do. Let's look at this other perpendicular vector. It's got a negative in it. So, its coordinates are swapped, but its new y coordinate has been negated. So, let's try that. So let's try swapping and negating. And gate. So that becomes our new x is our old y. Our new y is negative our old x. So let's take 5, comma 3. Sorry, I never wrote this one. 3. That's not perpendicular, but if we do 3, negative 5, which is down there, that looks like it might be perpendicular. In fact, it is. So that one is in the clockwise direction from the original 5, comma 3 vector. So let's, let's put that rule down for perp CW, which means perp clockwise, we'll say that our uh, new x equals the old y, and our new y equals negative the old x. Okay, so we've got one of them figured out. Um, now we want to figure out the one that goes on this side. It looks like it's going to go in the same line, parallel line, as this one. Let's just connect that up to there. And that looks like it's negative 3, 5. So in order to get this vector, we're going to swap again, see so 5, 3, to 3, 5, but we're going to negate the new x coordinate. So this one's for clockwise, and this one's counterclockwise, and again, it's 90 degrees. So our new x in this case is equal to negative the old y, and our new y equals the old x. So there's our perp CW rule, x1, c2. x1 equals the negative y, and our new y is the old x. And that's all we need to do.